I think Dembele was star, Vitinha was star, uh, Barcola was good. Mbappe was sort of missing. It just didn't click for him today. Um, I think his eyes are already at Madrid. On paper, they weren't. I thought they were like pretty dull games, but fucking man, Barcelona PSG served up a banger, bro, today. What did you guys think of the game? Amazing game. Amazing game. End to end. Uh, couldn't take your eyes off it. Uh, just like both managers, you know, attacking. The teams are also attacking. You had so many flair players in the game that uh, it just couldn't be boring, right? You had Felix, you had Dembele, you had uh, Mbappe, you had uh, Vitinha, who was so good, by the way, in this game. Oh, okay. So many flair players, so many. Uh, Rafinha was so good. So overall, attacking treat, I would say. Uh, if you want to watch yeah. like an attacking treat and individual brilliance, this was the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think like the first half started off pretty slow. I would not have expected this game to progress the way it did. And like ending 3-2 with like that goal at the end, that was fucking crazy. So like from a neutral's point of view, it was probably a, one of the best games to watch. In this time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. To... Go ahead. How, good, how good is that kit, bro? You mean... Yamal. Um, Yamal. Yeah, so essentially what Javi has done is weirdly centered the team around uh, uh, Lewandowski, Rafinha and Yamal. So Yamal basically is the guy who always gets the ball on the right wing and he is the guy who is responsible for the creativity, for like providing... Um, he has a lot of responsibilities for a 16-year-old and he looks to... Yeah. He's the, uh, probably the best 16-year-old we've ever had. Uh, 16 yeah. is just too young of an age to be playing in these kind of competitions and obviously he has a crazy future. Um, but yeah, yeah, this game was crazy, man. Barcelona were probably... Uh, PSG were probably much better in the start. Uh, Barcelona then came back uh, with like uh, quick goals and then PSG again came back with two quick goals and then finally towards the end, I feel like um, uh, Barca had the edge. They were. They could have gone four two up as well. Um, yeah. I I I honestly felt like the entire PSG team was good, except for Donnarumma. Hmm. He had like some Very mind bad. fuck moments. Like the first cross that like, Yamal put in, like yeah. he didn't have to like get off his ground, and, like you know, attack that ball. There was no need. Like there were defenders covering bases. It was absolute trash. And I think in the second and the third goals were also pretty savable. Like, I yeah. don't understand. Like, Christensen fucking headed it in front of him. Yeah. Like, I don't get it. Like, yeah. And there's so much hype around this guy. Remember when Mino just signed him? Yeah. Mino fucking, like, he's a rest in peace. But, like, he fucking, like, joked a lot of people. Yeah. Pogba, bro. <laughs> Pogba, yeah. We, we oh. paid. Um, Biggest thing. daylight robbery. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but if I have to big someone up for this game, like one person who really uh, surprised me was uh, Barcola from PSG. So PSG had uh, Lee playing in, in uh, Lee Kang in playing. Uh, he got injured like really mm-hmm. early on, and then Barcola came on. I think in the twentieth minute, maybe before that, and he was just superb. He was, everything was going through him and Vitinha. Vitinha as well, um, like just really surprised me how good these players are. He's short, he's creative, he's just, uh, he's so creative and uh, he's young as well. So PSG have a really young, good team. I didn't, I didn't know that today. I, I've seen VS, like had a taste of PSG and I think this team has a future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. about Mbappe for he uh, needs 90 to go. million mark. <laughs> I'm telling you, he, they, they, they'll be good without him. Uh, as well. I mean, it's a controversial statement, yeah. but he didn't have the best game. I think Dembele was star, Vitinha was star, uh, Barcola was good. Mbappe was sort of missing. He had one-on-one moments where he could have dribble pass and could have done something, but it just didn't click for him today. Um, I think his eyes are already at Madrid. I think he watched the game before that night and he's like, uh, he passed. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> His mind got off. <laughs> yeah. Do hmm. any of these two teams scare you guys for what do you think? Like they can challenge the the other half of the, the I mean, finals. It's a final, like a lot of weird shit can I mean Inter almost beat City. Right? Like if, if yeah. it wasn't for Lukaku, they would have been level, it would have been a different game altogether. 
so you never know dude finals are just like very weird emotionally driven games chelsea fucking beat city like for context and like it just a weird weirdness happens and um i think both psg barcelona on their day can just show up yeah they are and like you said really flip yeah. like you said right aj uh, the champions league games you need a little bit of individual brilliance you need uh, cuz there's so much transitional play here there's so much counter attacking happening that there are there have to be flair special players in the champions league who can do something special yeah. and psg and barcelona have so many of them they have game changers uh, because they bought game yeah. changers straight up uh, so they can uh, turnovers transitions anything they can just score goals like anything it took literally Three minutes for uh, two go- uh, P- Barcelona to concede two goals from PSG, and it was all individual brilliance. And it was a one-sided yeah. game till then. 